And on top of all these parts, you get the complete backing track at the back of the video, at the end of the video, so you can play along the super luxury edition tutorial for this song. If you enjoyed this lesson, please leave a like, help my channel to grow, and show me that you appreciated all the effort I put in this uh, tutorial. And now, please enjoy. Hello astronauts, before we go into outer space and world, why I do this in this key. Some, sometimes uh, some of you uh, rightfully say like, why don't you do the piece in the original key? In this case, it would be E flat minor. And uh, the point is in this case, it's I have to sell sheet music uh, to finance my channel. Uh, so, um, but this has like um, F, of B as us just guess that I think it's five or six flats, you know, and you don't say sheet music. It looks like that it has six flats. So please excuse that um, many more people might feel comfortable playing this in E. Although I know the purists uh, amongst you would like it in E flat. By the sh you can buy the MIDI file and transpose that. But hope uh, hopefully you understand uh, my point. Second point is uh, the I I did a solo for you and um, w where we play the. Uh, where we play with the E minor blues scale, and this for many uh, is much easier because they never heard about the E flat minor blues scale. So, and also you can use what you learn in the solo much more in uh, your session work or in your in your songs because songs in, uh, in E use the G, uh, the G, the E minor blues scale much more often. So that's also just more useful for you. Okay, hope I have your back. Um, have your back. Do I have your back or your backing? Whatever. Then uh, the bass. Now we have to kind of condense the whole band play and invent a bass for the left hand because the original electric bass is playing quite freely, like um, and we have to sort of replace that. And I make a suggestion for you that goes like one and two and three and four and one and two and three. So if we have a little syncopation and your work will consist of bringing these here. To bring the syncopation together with the right hand or in the solo later I play a, another left hand, a simpler one that goes like one and two and three and four and one and two. And without the syncopation you can also play this right from the start. this okay and uh, then stay with it for the rest of the piece now let's uh, get cracking 
uh, we have this, ah, sound, yes. Uh, the original, of course, it's, that's the amazing thing, was a hit with the, played with the, with the, e, uh, with the um, Yamaha clavichord. On its own, it, ca it sounds a little bit, bit thin. Um, so uh, you can play it with piano or I would recommend um, uh, you play it with the Fender Road sound, which should be in, 80% of you have digital pianos and there's always a Fender Road sound. Here it's called Stage E Piano. It's uh, simulating the old Fender Road sound. So I will do the lesson also with the Fender Road sound. And if you want, you can do, the organ is doing this in the beginning. Uh, so you can do this slide up also if you want. Uh, and then we start, uh, let's just count a little bit from the beginning and then we have to move fast to the uh, to the tough bits. And you know there's a slow replay coming after this where you really can do the, the theme. Theme is very easy, do that at your own tempo. And uh, just at the beginning, how is it counted? Um, one and two to and two three to and two four to and one. So you will see uh, we have already the uh, very important elements we have in the E minor funky blues is like this and then going down the thirds here and in fact that's quite funny he in fact he uses the major third although the piece is in E minor or an E flat minor respectively he's playing a little bit of E major so one and two two and two three two and two so just going our funky thirds and it's just happening again bass is going down one and two two and two three two and two four and again one and two two and two three two and two four and and then you accelerate once you've got this you will see it it looks quite nice to the hand yeah and then you can uh, speed it up one and, uh, uh, and so on, and it goes on. Same counting, we have to move uh, over to the, uh, okay, we take the final bit. And we have this typical parallel, funky parallel chords, E minor seven, and in between the B minor seven, just also good for funk piano. Yeah, so here we go. We have that coming up later also. Okay. One and two, two uh, one, uh, one and two, 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 and two, three and four, and off we go. Woo! We move just here also. And when we want to move to the D, I do it like this. Four, five, four. You can also do five, five, five. I do it like this, and then we have a uh, thing in D. Uh, and anticipating the A, and then we have this um, this first difficult bit. Uh, hold on. Um, here, this. I have to kind of simulate what he done is sometimes we cannot it's hard to tell all the notes apart uh, because the guitar is also playing with the phaser with the flanger and the uh, the um, uh, the clavinet is also phasered and the phaser is what we expect in outer space because we all all have seen Star Trek where they have the phaser on 11 all the time so fits to the subject of outer space and let's have a look we are on G now and it's it's quite a funky thing which you could also use like in any funky song like, like this kind of um, shifting between left and right hand that is very a lot of done uh, a lot done in with funky organ um, uh, and also here with the uh, E piano, electric piano, digital piano. So it's 
One and two, two two and two three two and two four and so you see in itself it is not hard to count because it's all sixteens from here one and now it's sixteens dispersed over both hands one and two you see it's just duck 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 it's just the two hands are uh, complementing each other. Nobody else is complimenting you. The hands are complimenting each other. So it's again one. Da, ga, da, ga, da, mm, ga, da, mm, ga, da. I played again. One and da, ga, mm, ga, da, mm, ga, da, mm. Once you find out uh, that the left hand is just changing octaves. Um, ba, ba, mm, ba, da, mm, ba, da. Here, left hand is just uh, doing that. As I said, a bear paw can play it. Oh. Outer space, I'm the bear in outer space. I can play octaves. So one daka ba da ba da ba da daka ba da ba da ba And then he plays the G this here. And the same is of course we have this sound here with the G7. Nice, nice. Play the seven here and we have the thirteen or the six up here. And let's have a look uh, what we do on A because it's actually um, uh, familiar. It's a familiar, it's similar. One. Wonderful thing. Here, this thing. One and two. And it's brilliant if you, if you have fast um, funk pieces like a. Can you sound like Herbie Hancock? I'm digressing. Okay, but you, you get it. Now, once you use this figure, you can do like a um, great little um, funky carpet underneath the rhythm section. Then we have this. Some, uh, some tra transcriptions have a chord here. They say it's B7. No, it's not. Um, or B flat 7. It's just a, a unis unison, a monophonic line. And no chords really fits under that. Like. Um, doesn't fit, so it's just yeah. One to enter. Uh, you know how it works. I don't have to count that for you, do I? Uh, do I have to breastfeed you with this? Uh, one to enter, two to enter, three to enter, four to enter, one. Okay. Mm hmm. And then we have the theme repeated identically. Uh, and then we come to this hugely phasered. Uh, it's hugely uh, chorus, like with the chorus effect. Um, can we simulate that just for fun? Mm. Alright, okay. gonna be working. Now, okay. I couldn't hear all the notes, but we just have to simulate this effect. Like, uh, we have to play a bass note, otherwise it's too empty up here. Yeah, again, we have a, a great funky, uh, funky, which you can use on any funky session. Yeah, you can use that uh, uh, to become the, funk, the funky man yourself. And let's have a look how we count this. Um, where was I, Christian? Um, okay, bass note. Um. And let's have a look at the first bar. Um. And you will see uh, the, the, the left hand here uh, is uh, playing on the one and two. Two, two, and two, three, two, and two. So it's the uh, left hand is on the on the uh, two, straight on the two, then straight on the three, and then on the three and two. So and I cannot count while playing this. Uh, so I will I will just play a couple, repeat it a couple of times for you to get into it, and then you just rewind. Uh. 
strong note. Okay, I hope that serves you well. And um, then this is played um, uh, up here. Uh, hold on. Uh, is that right? No, it's not right. It's not played up here. So, and then once you get the um, the uh, the overall structure the, and you pay attention to this, uh, especially to the last, to the third one of this one here, here, here. Then you can do the other bits but i would uh, actually recommend because uh, he's fiddling around he's playing like ba -ba -mm, mm, ba -ba 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 -mm, with a little bit uh, different note sometimes he's going he's going up uh, uh, from here um, or also a little bit uh, sometimes he's trying this but if you want to get uh, early success quick success you um you just do the first one and and speed it up then you already have it just one bar one bar um, if not go to the slow replay and see what they are, what other options they are um, like uh, uh small uh, uh, dif differences okay so that you can fiddle out yourself if not just do the first two bars and repeat them all the even the first bar um, then now we're coming to the solo um, directly from that which is played by the guitar in the song so we had to make up one mm -hmm. and we have a couple of familiar um, uh, things you know already, either from my blues tutorials or from my funky piano tutorials, go to my playlist, um, Soul and Funk Piano. There is good stuff for you to learn, funky licks and funky beats and whatever. So... Already the first uh, line has, our, has a great... Um, uh, a number of elements here and again then we have our uh, funky uh, thirds that I showed you in the beginning and then do the oversetting here two five and then it's an easy run down uh, with the blue scale and just um, what I call in my blue sessions the five two powerhouse here this is for five two because we have the second finger and the fifth finger and they're just oversetting so you can play them really fast yeah. After a while, it's easy to play, and it sounds expensive. That's what we want. Um, so we have this. Whoa! Not too bad, and it's really nice for the hand. Much easier than an E flat seven minor. And. Next line we have uh, this thing, um, and then we have a brief look at. First, the whole thing is basically the E minor blues scale, so it's really nice to the hand, and uh, you see. And then we have this swoosh down, and you just have to pay attention. 
that the the D is before the four. And I will repeat it a couple of times because I, you cannot count this really out loud without um, whatever suffocating, and uh, you would ha just have to get it by the by the feeling, just by you know listening. actually harder if I play it uh, uh, slower so faster it's actually easier to play so that's the um, paradox uh, sometimes between showing in slow is harder uh, and uh, sometimes it's just easier to get when you play it faster because you have this the whole figure in your ear so then it would be And then you fit it again into the left hand. Okay, and then uh, next thing. Then there are these little uh, things um, coming like next bar. <clears throat> And again, it's only blue scale, but here um, the finger setting is very important that you uh, just use one finger setting and stay with it. I don't know which one I used uh, when I played, the, uh, when I performed it, but uh, for example, one and two, 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 and two, two. So until here it's fine. Mm. And then you must remember the over setting so that you can play. Uh, the rest with this hand. So you just need to shift once and uh, always use the same finger setting no matter what finger setting you choose. If you like a different one then but then stay with that one so that uh, you don't have to rethink it once you play it at fast tempo because then the groove is broken. Next line then is we have this finger setting again you, you get this from the slow replay here a and now comes this thing which you probably want to know what that is very effective uh, lick and it's not so hard so we have this it starts with um, here only this stretch will um, bother you a little bit And then we have uh, yeah, this again. So again, we have this element here. Hold on, what is that? We are yeah, indeed. Yeah, dun, dun. Okay. And then. On the four, it's again. Again. That was wrong. Not again. And yeah. Here. So, and you have to. What you have to practice is this. It fast and this bit here. Yeah, uh, on the four. Uh. And. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's 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 a little bit of work to do. And then we have this uh, tri triplet things, which is also very easy. Like just uh, on the G between the B flat here, and just going uh, between the D and the and the um, uh, and the uh, and the E, Christian. And then we have a little bit of the. 
of the A C oh on on the G on top, okay? Yeah, but that's really nice to the hand also. Yeah, and then you're done. Then you're done, then the theme is coming uh, ident identical as before, uh, and you have a wonderful piece. And it was great to build a, a space station with you. You know, there's now the also, not just the slow replay coming, but also the groove section for you. So this is a really luxury tutorial, please. Please leave a like for, for my hard work here on this one that you also get the, the drum groove. Uh, subscribe, we learn a lot here. We learn it with fun sometimes and uh, learning fast and many styles here. Hope to see you again. Bye.